Did you know that even a few decades ago, a flush toilet was a dream for the Chinese? I hope everyone in China can use a flush toilet one day, Zhou Gucheng, a professor in Shanghai, said in 1932. At that time, relieving oneself out in the open was nothing unusual. In 1949, there were only 516 public toilets in Beijing, mostly primitive shacks with walls of straw mat. Building public toilets became a national task. In three years' time, 4.9 million public toilets were installed or renovated across China, though some had no roof or door given the limited funding. Still, there was a proper place to answer the call of nature. A small step into the toilet is a big step towards civilization. However, before the sewer system was built, the human waste in dry toilets had to be emptied by night soil collectors. As more and more foreign tourists visited China, the toilet issue became more critical. In 1984, then U.S. President Ronald Reagan visited Great Wall in Beijing during his trip to China. A few ladies, including Secretary of State George Shuo's wife, wanted to use the toilet. The dry toilet in the area was nothing but a few wooden planks over a pit. Follow the old door, and you will find the toilet. Used to be a standard joke. Finally, a toilet revolution was launched to upgrade the most notorious public facility. In the 1980s, separators and modern amenities began to appear in public toilets. In 1989, more than 6,000 public toilets in Beijing had a water flush. Liu Xiaoqi, a journalist, studied toilets. In 1994, he launched the first toilet design contest in China. In 2000, the last dry toilet in Beijing was upgraded from holes on the ground to sparkling white ceramic restrooms. The evolution of toilets is a glimpse into the path of a civilization.